Hello everyone, it's the Mongoose, and today we are going to be going through my entire manga collection for 2021. Now, this is my first year collecting manga, and I've started in September, so I've only been collecting for about four months now. But I figured it'd be a fun tradition to go through my collection, show you guys some of my favorite reads of the year so far, some manga that I'm looking forward to reading in the upcoming year. I also finally have some decoration for my room, so I wanted to show you guys a little before and after of that as well, because it's gonna look really really cool in my opinion so we finally have a background it's not some plain boring wall anymore really excited to show you guys that as well and feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know if you got anything fun for christmas manga related anime related or just anything that you would like to share feel free to drop a comment down below but overall i hope that you guys had a great holiday and are still enjoying it if you are on break now let's go ahead and jump into my manga collection so here's my manga collection in all of its glory so far i counted all the volumes and i think it's 74 total if i I'm not mistaken and that's over a period of about four months so far so overall not a bad collection i would say i'm definitely not addicted 100 not addicted to collecting manga but i figured we could go through the bunch and i can show you some of my favorites that i've read so far some that i'm really looking forward to reading in the new year and i think it could just be like a cool little tradition that we do on this channel where we look back at the year and just to see how the collection has grown overall now boys run the riot i haven't read this but this is one that i keep meaning to read and i haven't but I'm really excited to get into it just because I think it's a very unique story that kind of separates itself from most of the manga that I have at least. Rainbow and Black, this was one of my more enjoyable reads of the year. It's not crazy in depth, but it's just a really enjoyable read. And sometimes I feel like you need that in life. And Rainbow and Black just provides that. And my wife has no emotion. I want to include this specifically because I think it's a manga that has a lot of potential and it hasn't necessarily lived up to it in the first volume, but you can really see the elements that are there to make a great story and there were a lot of shining moments in that first volume so i'm really hoping that the second one brings it to life a little bit more kiru kill me this was a very fun manga that i really enjoyed very comedic with a lot of action as well and this is another one that's in the same boat as my wife has no emotion i think it's very good it has a lot of great elements but it definitely has potential to drop off because of the way the story's structured so i'm really hoping that it continues its upward trajectory in the next volume but definitely one of my more enjoyable reads. Now Spy Family, I don't want to give anything away because this will be in my review, but I did just start reading it. Sayonara Football. This is one that I kind of forgot about. It's my first ever sports manga and it was good, but it wasn't great. Like it was a good read. It was fun, but it hasn't left me with wanting to read more necessarily. That's why I haven't read the second volume yet. I'll definitely get to it because I enjoyed it for sure. Now this manga, I regret not picking up the light novel version. I feel like I might do that before I read the manga because because it's a very intricate story and I think the light novel will do it more justice. Quintessential Quintuplets, you guys know that's one of my favorite reads of the year. It's my first ever read, so it's gonna be near and dear to my heart. Now Miroku-chan, this is another one that just has endless potential. The first volume is so, so good and I absolutely am so excited to see where it goes. I'm waiting on the dreaded second edition. I cannot get it. It should be coming in January though and I can't wait to continue this story because it, it just is so good. Zom 100 as well, if you're looking for an entertaining read that's a little bit more dark, this is the one for you. It's, it's got zombies, it's got action, it's got comedy. It's got a lot of great elements to make a really good manga. And not to mention the art is really, really good. Now, I know I've talked about all of these mangas, but I like to give refreshers for myself as well. And also, sometimes my opinion kind of changes over time. Sometimes I like a manga a little bit more after a time, and sometimes I don't. Now, this isn't a manga. This is a gorilla statue that my mom got me. I love gorillas. They're one of my favorite animals, so I figured I'd put it up there. Now, my dress up, darling, this is one that I really, I thought I I would like but I didn't think I would like it so much. I really just love both of the characters in the story and their relationship in it. They just have a great dynamic and the fact that it's about cosplay I think is really cool. I know literally nothing about cosplay but it's cool to kind of see the process. The way the characters are structured through the first volume is phenomenal in my opinion and I really can't wait to jump into the second, third, and fourth volume. Blue Period. Now I read this this month and I'm not going to give anything away but I really resonated with this story. Now Beauty and the Feast. This is the replacement for that second copy of When Will I Am Who Make His Move. That was a very interesting looking story. I'm very excited to jump into it. This is one that will be at the forefront of my reads in the new year. Now, as you can see, my collection is absolutely chaotic. I should have put a trigger warning on this video because it's so disorganized. So I apologize for that. Maybe I will make an organized my manga show video because it's a disaster. Sweat and Soap is one that I'm really looking forward to reading. I kind of forgot about it, but I've heard such great things about it that I have to jump into it eventually. This is another one that's on the list to 
read pretty much right away in the new year. There's a, just a lot of manga, as I've noticed from collecting a little bit too much maybe, some would say, that I kind of forget about. I really want to focus on either reading more or making a point to continue the stories or read what I have picked up. And when will Ayamu make his move? This is another one that's at the top of my list to read next, obviously because I ordered two copies of it by accident. Now Mushoku Tensei, this is my first light novel and I wanna make a point to read more light novels in 2022. Figured what better way to start out than one of the most popular isekais right now, if not the most popular isekai. Now one that I think is a pick that's unusual for me is number five. I really wanna focus on trying to read more genres in 2022. I kind of picked what I liked and what I knew I would like pretty much for the most part and I haven't jumped into a lot of things that I might like but I'm not sure about. I think number five is one of those because it's sci-fi. I'm typically not a big sci-fi person but I think jumping into something like that it would be good to expand my horizons. I like to kind of take risks and go out of the genres that I know I love but that is it for my collection. Those are some of my top reads so far of the year. Zom 100, My Dress Up Darling. We're probably up there as like two of my favorite. I haven't read anything like too intense or crazy yet. I want to get into mangas that are a little bit more deeper as well. But yeah, that's my that's my collection for the year as a new collector, a very brand new collector to the scene. I think it's a good collection. I think it's a good starting point. And I really look forward to seeing where I end up next year and what are my favorite reads and what are my favorite genres or maybe some new things that I got into. And now on to the room decoration. So here are the panels that I got. Three different mangas. We have Miroku-chan, My Dress Up Darling, and Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, some of my favorite current mangas that I'm reading, and I think they're gonna look really, really awesome in my background, so I can't wait to put them up. So here's my current background. As you can see, it is probably the most boring background of all time, so I'm really hoping that these panels bring it to life. So this is the finished product and oh my gosh, I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. I am so happy that I got this as a Christmas gift. My background is finally looking nice. It's been so boring, so plain for so long now. Really, really excited to start recording new videos so I can share this awesome background every time. It makes my room come to life. I just think it's overall an incredible addition to the room. I'm just so happy with the way it came out. So here's our new setup. I think it looks absolutely incredible. Some of my favorite mangas and characters just chilling in the background. It's a great new setup to jump into the new year. So that is my entire manga collection so far. I started collecting as a new manga collector in September this year. We have a total of 74 volumes so far. So yeah, I think I'm slightly addicted, but honestly, it has brought me so much joy collecting and diving into the world of manga. I've been exclusively anime for so long, but jumping into all of these new stories is is just really really nice it's a breath of fresh air and i honestly look forward to reading manga every single day now so it's been great so far i can't wait to see what we get next year and i just want to quickly say thank you to anybody that has clicked on any one of my videos or subscribed to the channel when i started this channel i didn't really think many people would even come and click on the videos so i'm very very grateful for anybody that has checked out the channel we're building a great community and i can't wait to see where we go in 2022 so thank you for watching the videos and i look forward to sharing new videos with you in the new year and growing this community even more. Very thankful for every single one of you. I hope that you have a great new year and I will see you all in 2022.